Mr. Gary Russell Jr. takes to social media and reiterates that Javante Tank Davis is not on his level as he stated a few days ago. Stay tuned, coming up next. Hey, this is Cassie, and you're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. You're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. You're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Hola, habla Cindy, está viendo Deporte TV. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, Mr. Gary Russell Jr. takes to social media once again to reiterate that Geronte Tank Davis is not on his level. Uh, he did an interview not too long ago where he stated and gave his opinions on uh, Geronte Tank Davis not fighting anybody, uh, not being on his level, as well as Leo Santa Cruz. Uh, and with that said, you know, this morning he woke up and he felt the need to reiterate it. So he reposted it on Instagram to let the world know if they forgot or if they didn't hear it or if they didn't see it. Uh, Javante Tank Davis is not on my level. He hasn't fought anybody and he can't deal with me. Wow. You know, uh, uh, we always know that Mr. Gary Russell is straightforward. He's a straight uh, straight up guy. You know, he's a stand up dude. Uh, uh, he's very in touch, 10 toes to the ground. He's very in, in tune with what's going on in social um, injustices and things like that are going around, on around the world. Uh, uh, he's one of the best fighters in the world, one of the most gifted fighters in the world in the sport of boxing has ever seen. Some of the fastest hands the sport of boxing has ever seen. Uh, he had one uh, set, he suffered one setback in his career. That was the Vasil Lomachenko early in his career. Um, Vasil Lomachenko is now looked at as the pound for pound best fighter in the world. I don't personally agree with that, but that's how, uh, you know, a lot of people view Vasil Lomachenko at this point in time. So the one blemish on his record is to arguably the best pound for pound fighter in the world. Uh, with that said, you know, Javante Tate Davis, um, everybody is clamoring and calling for him to step up in competition as uh, the toughest competition he's fought thus far is Jose Cuellar and, uh, 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 um, and um, Pedraza. Right. And uh, so with that said, you know, everybody's calling to see Javante Tank Davis fight Tevin Farmers of the world, uh, Vasil Lomachenko's of the world, so on and so forth. Right. Uh, and uh, people have been clamoring and calling for this for quite some time, uh, not to uh, uh, anything against Javante Tank Davis, but it's a testament to Javante Tank Davis that we want to see his skill set matched up with better opposition. We want to see his skill set on display versus better opposition. You know, he has all the tools. He shows all the tools. He shows all the um, the wit. You know, he shows uh, he has the ring IQ. He has the speed. He has the flash. He has the um, you know the outside of the ring uh, um, IQ. You know, he sells tickets. He can sell fights. You know, he has it all. You know, and everybody just wants to see him step up in competition at this point in time. Uh, with that said, Mr. Gary Russell, both of these guys are from the DMV. So this, in, this, in some instances, this is a domestic uh, uh, situation, man. You know, uh, we got we got both guys from the DMV area. Uh, if you don't understand what the DMV area is, that's the DC, Maryland, uh, Virginia area. You know, uh, if you want to call it Delaware, Maryland, Virginia, however you look at it, right? Uh, with that said, they're both from that area. You know, uh, Tank Davis from Baltimore. I believe uh, um, Mr. Gary Russell was from DC. You know, so, you know, um, he's saying that and this guy ain't step up in competition. He hasn't faced anybody. He don't know what it is to deal with somebody on a skill set and the level of me. Uh, he said he won't he won't be able to deal with me once we step in the ring. Uh, that you know they both southpaws. You know they're both explosive. I would give uh, Mr. Gary Russell the edge in speed, and I would give Javante Tank Davis the edge in power. But with that said, you know this would be a hell of a fight. It would sell tickets. You know, uh, rumored that uh, Javante Tank Davis will be back in the ring uh, sometime in July, I believe. Uh, and the opponent is uh, rumored to be uh, Yoriokis Gamboa, former lightweight champion. Uh, but Yoriokis Gamboa at this point in time is past his prime. Uh, this fight is going to be a homecoming fight for Javante Tank Davis. It's um, being rumored to be down in the Baltimore area. Uh, and, uh, you know, I I'm, I'm feeling like Mr. Gary Russell is putting his claim in to have that fight with Javante Tank Davis down in the DMV area. That fight would do enormous. It would be huge. It would be supported. Oh man, it would be uh, a fight, man. It would, it would be out of this world. It would be out of this world. It would be one of the best fights, one of the best events 
in the sport of boxing in 2019, hands down, if that was to be the case. If they was to choose uh, Gary Russell Jr. Now, I don't know um, all the logistics and things of that nature to go along with it. Um, but, you know, if, if Gary Russell Jr. was to face Javante Tank Davis down in the DMV area, that would be absolutely enormous. That would be absolutely enormous. You understand? Uh, with that said, you know, um, I don't know how this fight will play out, if you ask me. You know, uh, Gary Russell, does he have the experience? Yes, he has been in the ring with uh, better opposition. He has more experience and he's and he's older, to say the least, right? But with that said, he does fight at a lower weight class. He fights at 126. Javante Tank Davis fights at 130. Now it's only four pounds difference, but four pounds makes a huge difference, right? Because Javante Tank Davis uh, rehydration and Gary Russell's rehydration is different, you know? But this will be a very, very explosive. We know Gary Russell is very, very tricky. Uh, he's a, he's a he could box. He could bang, you know, he could fight you on the outside, he could fight you on the inside. Uh, you pick your choice, you know, um, pick the lesser of two evils. Uh, Tank Davis, we've seen him just absolutely obliterate most of his opponents. He just comes forward. He's so explosive, so fast that he just obliterates most of the opponents. We haven't really seen him having to dig deep in his bag of tricks and use boxing abilities and, you know, different angles and things of that nature. He just didn't have to, you know. Um, is that due to the level of competition? Could be, you know, but that also is a testament to his explosion. So, you know, uh, but Gary Russell is going to present a whole different animal. It's going to present a whole different problem for Javante Tank Davis. It's going to present angles. It's going to present, you know, um, different, um, you know, uh, 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 um, movements. You know, uh, he's going to give him different looks. So it's going to be, you know, very difficult. That's going to be that would be a huge step up for Javante Tank Davis. Now, we know Javante Tank Davis was scheduled to fight Abner Mares, who was once himself a 126-pounder who moved up in weight. Uh, so with that said, you know, um, Gary Russell has been calling for a fight with Leo Santa Cruz. He's been calling for a fight with um, Abner Mares. He's been calling for a fight with all of these guys, and they just seem to never get around to fighting Leo Santa Cruz. I mean, Gary Russell, uh, Carl Frampton, uh, uh, Scott Quigg, you know, um, Josh Warrington. You know, he's been calling, calling for fights with these guys and they just seem not to never get around to fighting Mr. Gary Russell Jr. for whatever reason. Uh, you know, you can make your own assumptions about that and what your reason is for those fights never coming to fruition. But with that said, this would be a hell of a fight. Uh, it would be an in-house fight. When I mean in-house domestic, because they're both from the same area. Uh, this would be an explosion fight. You know, they're both southpaws. You know, it's kind of like when the rubber meets the road type of situation, you know, and it'd be very exciting. But Gary Russell feels like Javante Tank Davis just don't stand the chance. He's not on his level and won't be able to deal with his skill set and his IQ and his uh, um, and his um, experience in the ring. So uh, that's all I got for y'all, man. Let me know what y'all think. It's your boy Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell icon to get all the new notification. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shouts out to the entire LDBC. Shouts out to New Shouts out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got. Gary Russell Jr. pulls out Javante Tank Davis once again. Says he's his, his not on my level. He will not be able to deal with my skill set if we used to step in the ring. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. The Blue Blood Sport TV, baby. From the Empress. Much love.